Alright, all healed and saved and ready to move on. What could possibly be further up here in the CPU? We found the CPU! Surprise, surprise! Is it Ted? It's the core of this giant, the CPU! Man, it's huge! We must destroy the defensive system first, otherwise all the damage will be repaired. And it's boss time, and Fusoya pretty much told you one of the tricks to this fight. There are a couple tricks to this fight, unfortunately. First, you saw that the one on the bottom healed. That would make it the defender. That is our first target. The other one, the attacker, you do not want to kill. If you kill the, uh, the attacker, the CPU, if left alone, will pretty much spam you with an attack that kills one party member, just pretty much screwing you over. If you if you take out the attacker, you're pretty much screwed. Uh, so I want to be very careful here. I'll go for an attack with Rydia, and then uh, and then that's pretty much it. <laughs> and then after that, I'm going to take out the CPU. So hopefully Rydia does not hit the attacker like she did. Luckily, she did not kill it because she's too damn weak. I say, yeah, lucky, I guess. Alright, so now, Fusoya is actually going to be my main healer because Rosa does more damage. So, Fusoya, if you could get your turn so that you could attack, that would be great. So, well, sh so that he could heal. Alright, and unfortunately, as you saw, the CPU pretty much walled himself off from magic damage. And you could technically try to cast wall on one of your party members and bounce, you know, lightning off of uh, the party member, but unfortunately, uh, you also have the, uh, the possibility of hitting the attacker while you do that, and that would result in your doom. So I would not recommend it, but if you're feeling especially gutsy, feel free to give it a try. But once again, would not recommend it. So you're pretty much screwed just attacking the CPU. That's pretty much all you can do, and unfortunately that makes this fight long and drawn out. No, wait, you're, you're aiming. Just to make sure that you hit the CPU. Do not kill the attacker, I cannot stress this enough. I cannot stress that enough. And unfortunately, since the CPU does still have a lot of HP, that makes this fight, like I said, long drawn out. And I want to save all the darts, all my throwing items, uh, for, well, later bosses. You know, once we start getting towards the end of the game, those are the people that I'm looking to use it on. So, unfortunately, we're just stuck with regular attacking from Edge and from Cecil. And Rydia, right, yeah, technically. So, ah, crap. Oh, well. One cure wasted. Wanted that to be on everybody, not just on Rosa. And the attacker, if you leave it alive, you know, doesn't give you that much trouble, to be honest with you. Now, you're still aiming. I'm so used to Rosa healing that I don't always think that she can actually attack. But she can. Fusoya, on the other hand, he can't really do much. He can't do much in terms of attacking up don't even have him equipped with something that could be good here. Especially from the back row. I probably could give him like a, a bow or something like that, but unfortunately he's still on the change rod. And I do need a healer, so he will fit that role. Especially since Rosie does have aim. That should increase her damage just a little bit. I said this is kind of a long and drawn out fight. But the CPU finally does go down. Now we can take out... No, not Ice 3. Lightning 3 on the attacker. And we can focus on taking that down. And this, then this fight just becomes a piece of cake, to be honest with you. Down goes the attacker. Didn't even need to use Lightning 3. But for that fight, we get 10,333 gil, 30,000 experience, and a level up for Rosa. And Fusoya, and Rydia, and Edge, 
but not Cecil, because he got his just a little while ago. And we have done it! We have defeated the Giant of Babil! I think. We definitely destroyed his CPU. Kane! We did it! It stopped. You wretch! Gold bears! You ruined my plan! You shall pay for this. You. Get away! Don't you realize who you are? Stop it! Wake up! What? What is going... What, what did he do? He just put his hand up. And they're trying to give me a seizure. It won't work, I swear it won't. And then Fusoya... Died? The hell, Fusoya? Why did I have all that hatred? Come to your senses. Do you remember your father's name? My... my father? His name is Kluya. What? But... but Cecil's father is Kluya. That means... Cecil's brother? Golbez is... my... You were controlled by Zemus's telepathy. Your blood made it easier for him to use you. Brother? Man, I've been fighting my own brother. You are my brother? But it could have been me who was controlled by Zemus's telepathy. But it was me. It means my soul was stained with evil for Zemus to use. Where are you going? I'll settle all this myself. Wait! Zemus is a lunar. He belongs to my race. I'll come with you. And... Uh, they're leaving? <laughs> Goodbye, Cecil. Wh why are you leaving? We could have a... We could have a six-man party. It would totally work. Are you gonna just let him go like this? He may lose his life. Isn't he your big brother? Brother. Right. Mm. It's collapsing! We must get out! Cecil! Don't bother me, I'm contemplating. What's the matter? Where is the way out? This way! It is, Kane! You can't trick us anymore. Talk later. We must hurry. Turned into Jojo for a second there. Hurry up. That was a completely different game. So I don't know if that's a typo, to be honest with you. Earlier on when they said that Kane said something before he actually walked in the room. I honestly don't know. I can't remember in the later versions if, if that was changed or not. At last, I was able to regain consciousness, and I am ready to pay the consequences. Yeah? Who do you think reactivated the, the giant of Babel? No! Rosa. Golbez was also under the control. It's not Kane's fault. Golbez, too? Govez was Cecil's brother. He's not anymore, though. That's why we used the word was. A Lunarian called Zemus controlled Z Golbez from the moon. From the moon! So Golbez went to the moon with Fusoya to defeat Zemus. Golbez, Cecil's brother. So once again, the main character, Orphan. What do you know? Then I must pay back my debts. My debts to Zemus. Hope he doesn't get hypnotized again. If that happens again, go ahead and get rid of me. Then I'm coming. I feel like defeating Zemus with my blade edge. Let's go! I will go to the moon!
What? What is it? Rosa and Radio will get off here. The rest of us will go to the moon! It's too risky. There is no guarantee of safe return this time. Like there was last time? I went and defeated Bahamut. Did you see those behemoths? Cecil. What? Come on. Get off the big whale. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> get off my whale, bitch. And there she goes. Listening like a good woman. Oh, that's so wrong. Now, righty, you be a good girl and stay home. Okay, so Edge is just as bad as me. Think it's sweet to, of you to say that? Hot shot. And now we're all sad again. So long, righty. No, they're both mine. Keep your hands off of them, Edge. Cecil. What is it, Kane? Let's go, Kane Edge! And we... Yeah, if only space travel was this easy. You just touch the crystal, and within, what, like five seconds? Five, ten seconds or so? We're back on the moon! That's totally how space travel works. But... We do have technically a new party member, even though it's an old party member. Ready! In fact, our first party member. What the hell? Where were you hiding in there, Rosa? How'd you get up here? Get out of my way. No! I won't unless you take me with you. Don't be silly. We don't need a white mage! I don't care how dangerous it will be. I don't care as long as I can be with you. Rosa. Take her, Cecil. Come on, man. Okay, Rosa, whatever happens, I'll protect you. Aww, and they kissed. We did it! <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure you guys just kissed. You know, Kane and Edge are staring at you. It's kind of awkward for you to... Oh, that was right here. Never mind. Didn't I say we're all fighting for a common cause? Besides, I'm the only caller you have. Yes, you are my only black mage anymore. Right, yeah, you are right. Let's fight for our common cause. And now we're on the moon. And that's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. I've been Bala Scuba. I've been joined as... Never before, actually. I think this is the first time that we have this party together of Kane, Edge, Rosa, Cecil, and Rydia. My Apollo 13? No, Apollo 14 crew. Apollo 12, 13 didn't make it, unfortunately. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.